the sun shining on the bay behind us, MLB The Show welcomes you to San Francisco. AT&T Park, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good matchup in store for you here, as it'll be the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Florida Marlins. And hello once again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, Matt Vaskersian, we get set to bring you what should be an entertaining ball game. Also with us, 10-year Major League vet Rex Hudler. And Hud, we turn to you first. What catches your eye in this one? Well, one guy who's developed into a nice little player is Ian Kinsler. The thing I like about him is that along the way, this guy's had to work hard to get where he is. He's never been handed anything. And that work ethic's what got him to the big leagues. And that's what's going to make him a solid player for the next decade or so. Plus, he's got pop. Kevin Euclid leads things off and plays second base. Ian Kinsler bats second. He's at short. Ryan Braun bats third, and he'll be at third base. Ike Davis, the right fielder, is in the cleanup spot. Danny Valencia is the number five hitter. He's at first base. Gabe Kapler will hit sixth and play left field. Sam Fold, the center fielder, will hit in the number seven spot. Number 61 will be behind the plate and hit eighth. And batting ninth on the mound, right-hander Jason Marquis. And set to square off against this lineup is the longtime Major League hurler and former World Series MVP, right-hander Levon Hernandez. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Kevin Euclid will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that ball is gone! Home run! So it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game. And the Dodgers strike first, one to nothing. And Matt, you talk about a rude welcome to the ball game. The first pitch gets sent over the wall. That is not how you want to start a game if you're on the mound. Ian Kinsler will be the batter. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. And one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. Now the pitch. Now a ball lined back over second. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. Ryan Braun will take his cuts now. First pitch coming. And a ball 1-0. Outside with the breaking pitch, and he falls behind it 2-0. and They set up away that time, but he couldn't quite hit a spot with a bender. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. And look where this pitch is, right in the happy zone. 
He loves that thing middle in, and he explodes right through it. Ike Davis will dig in here. And he gets ahead with the curveball. Strike one. Checked by Hernandez. The pitch. A swing and a ball hit fairly well. Heading high and deep toward right center. Morales is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Danny Valencia will get his first shot at it here. Now a turn and a throw by Levon. And a dive, but he's back in. Here's the first offering. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Runners going. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. So they pick up a run on the solo home run as that'll give them the lead. On now to the bottom of inning number one. L.A.'s on top, one to nothing. A look there at the starting lineup for the host Marlins. Alexi Ramirez is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Batting second is the young shortstop, Yunel Escobar. Henry Morales is the right fielder. He bats third. Diane Viciedo, the third baseman, is in the cleanup spot. Yonder Alonso will bat fifth and play left field. Unieski Betancourt will bat sixth and play second. Brian Pena is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Juan Miranda is at first base. He'll bat number eight. And on the mound in the number nine spot, the big right-hander, Levon Hernandez. Jason Marquis will get the call to face them, and the key for him will almost certainly be getting ahead in the count early. We've seen in the past, when he's forced to work from behind, he can run into some problems. And behind him defensively, the Dodgers will line up like this. Russ Mitchell is up off the bench as he is in as a defensive replacement. Alexi Ramirez will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Swing and a liner back through the box. And that's a base hit, so the leadoff man's aboard to start off the home half of the first. Important to answer right back here in the bottom of the first. Leadoff man on now as they try to get that run back. Yunel Escobar will get his first cuts here. And he didn't quite get all of it as this is lifted in the air out towards left center. And he reaches up to haul this one in on the run. Nice play for the first out. Well, he gets a fastball that time right down Main Street, in fact. But all he can do is hit a fly ball for an out. Henry Morales will stand in. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Got to make sure at the plate you don't hit one on the ground here. Fouled straight back. Oh. 
And that one misses. A ball and two strikes to Morales. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. He swings and pops it high toward the left side of the infield. Braun has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. Diane Viciedo will be the batter. And this ball will be chopped foul. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. From the belt, the pitch. Throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Second inning now from San Francisco. Dodgers out in front, one to nothing. Danny Valencia leads things off now in the top half of the second. And he lays off there, 1-0. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. A strike and it's two and one. And pitch location has definitely been a problem for him here early on. He's got to stop leaving those pitches over the plate. And a strike on the fastball. So from two and oh, it's two and two now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Gabe Kapler will stand in for the first time here. Swing and a liner. There to play it now is Betancourt. Throw to first will be in time, so levon has got himself two quick outs. Hits this one right on the button, but they've got him played perfectly, so they're able to throw him out. Sam Fold will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. Just a perfect spot for that fastball. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Dodgers have the early one nothing advantage as we play the second. On the ground towards second. Therefore, it is Betancourt. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. The Dodgers lead it one to nothing. Yonder Alonso will start things off in the bottom of the second. And a 
fastballs in there for strike one. One of the secrets of his longevity in this game, work fast, change speeds, and throw strikes. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Here he comes on two and one. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Unieski Betancourt steps in now. ball hit pretty well out toward right center field and this is hauled in on the run for the out and he had a lot of ground to cover to get to that one that was a good job of the center fielder taking charge out there as he's calling the right fielder off early and puts it away Brian Pena will get his first opportunity now fouled back he set now the pitch and he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul might have been looking to find that outside corner but he couldn't quite get it there it's one and two And that swung on and fouled straight back. Hit hard to the left side. Base hit. And have a look. The catcher sets the target down around the knees. But this is a good low ball hitter. And he gets good wood on this one. Juan Miranda digs in at the plate. And waiting for him to call a strike, but he never did. It's 1-0. and oh. And obviously a double play ball would be big here as it would get him out of the inning. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and oh. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. Swing, and a ball hit high and deep down the line. This is in the cove if it's fair, and it's gone for a splashdown home run. fastball that time. I think he's got a pretty good idea this pitch is coming because he wasted no time turning on this thing. Levon Hernandez will get his first shot at it here. First pitch on the way. And he starts him out with well, it looked like a strike, but it's ruled a ball, 
And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And no one will get this one. The pitch. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. One out, nobody on. The 1-2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2-2. Two and two. Three runs already home here. Get a hold of one. Hit on the ground towards first. Yeah. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Good job of getting off the mound in a hurry and shuffling over to first to take the feed from the first baseman. Alexi Ramirez will step in. A base hit in his last time. Now a fastball is hit on the ground towards second. Yep, Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left. We play two full. The Marlins lead it 3-1. to one. Number 61 is ready to go here as we begin the third. Now a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Jason Marquis will step in now. And now a soft liner to the left side. Foul. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. On to first, and there were two down. Russ Mitchell will take his cuts now. Ball just misses for ball one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Swing and a ground ball to short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So a good inning there for Levon. He's got a 3-1 lead. Yunel Escobar makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Henry Morales will dig in. He popped out his first time. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. 
And this one's about eye level, and I can tell you from experience, that one's no fun as a hitter. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and And he lays off a pitch just below the knees. It's 3-0. This is a very good hitter up here. See, he might get the green light on 3-0. Ruled a strike on the outside corner. 3-1. The 3-1. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. And he takes ball four, so a good job of running the count full and then coaxing out the pass. Yeah, Matt, he made him throw a lot of pitches. That was a great at bat. Diane Vicieto will stride in, grounded out his last time through. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Boy, and they would love a double play ball right here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Tried to get some loft to that swing, but it's 1-1. One and one. That's just what you want. Put that pitch right on the outside corner, maybe get the double play ball. Fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Called strike that time, and it's even a two and two. Here's a swing and just foul, says the umpire, and he was right on that one. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Ball three. Three and two now. Yonder Alonso will be next, barring a double play ball. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. Yonder Alonso will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. In the dirt here. And I'm very surprised, Matt, that they decided to stay where they were. You've got to be bouncing out there. Three and one now. And here in the early stages, he's already up over 40 pitches now.
Grounded to third. This could be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One left for Florida as the lead remains three to one. Ian Kinsler will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. We'll dig in. He singled his first time around. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Yeah, down near the thighs. That's a fastball he'll have a tough time elevating on. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Oh, Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. And this is taken in for the second out. Ike Davis will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Come on, bring this guy up. Pretty well hit, deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. That won't. No give it now. Outside for a ball, one and one. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Grounded to third. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. One two three go the Dodgers, and it remains a three one ball game. Unieski Betancourt will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Fulb is there to make the catch, and the home half of the fourth starts with a one pitch out. Brian Pena will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. Grounded foul.
fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Two two pitch on the way. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff, not there. And he takes ball four, so a good job of running the count full and then coaxing out the pass. Yeah, Matt, he made him throw a lot of pitches. That was a great at bat. Juan Miranda will get another shot to do some damage. He had the three-run homer his first time around. Grounded to third. This could be two. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. He played four full. Florida's out in front, 3-1. to one. Danny Valencia will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And he takes ball one. And even when you're missing low with the fastball, it can still effectively set up your other pitches. The 1-0 pitch. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. And that's in there, two and one. Yeah, good late movement. Just did catch that inside corner. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Miranda is under it, and he's got it for the first down. Well, just one mistake against this guy to this point. That solo home run way back in the first inning. He's been exceptionally sharp since. Gabe Kapler will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Yeah, and when you leave it up in the hitter's eyes like that, he knows enough not to chase out there. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. Two and two. And a good two-strike pitch. Make him go up and get it. Bring the cheese! Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Sam Fold will be next. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. 
So a runner on first with one out now. And stepping in the young outfield prospect, Sam Fold. First pitch to him. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Swing and a soft liner back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Maybe this can get something started for them here. That's just their third hit of the game. So if they want to get into it, they better hope to string together a few more hits. Number 61 will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. And the infield's into double play depth there as a ground ball could get him out of the inning. <laughs> Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. And this is where you hope for an umpire with a wide strike zone, but he did not get the call. Now the 2-0. Grounded to third. This could be two. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Marlins on top, 3-1. to one. Levon Hernandez will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. That's taken high and outside for ball one. One oh on the way. Fouled straight back. Swung on and popped sky high to the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. Alexi Ramirez will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And he's starting to get up there in pitches now. Worth keeping an eye on. One out, nobody on. The next pitch. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and oh now. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. On the ground is short. Ow. Yunel Escobar will step in. A ground out victim as last time. And a strike at the knees. More like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. And the pitch. Well hit to right, but foul. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one.
Here's the pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Five innings complete. The Marlins lead this one 3-1. to one. Jason Marquis will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, trying to get him to chase out there, but that ball had too much tail on it. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And this ball's hit pretty well, high and deep to straightaway left. Alonzo has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Good pitch to get the first out in the six. You see his numbers to this point in the game, just one rattle out on three hits. He's been tough out there so far. Russ Mitchell will stride in, grounded out his last time through. swing and a fly ball and that'll get down out there for extra bases and he's in there easily at second with a one out double Ian Kinsler will stand in he popped out in his last time here's the first offering hard hit to third and that's past the diving infielder for a base hit and the runner is in from second. Ryan Braun will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And that misses for ball one. Hits are even right now at five aside. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and And there's a good chance up 2-0. and He's going to see a fastball here. Hit hard, but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. And that is on the inside corner, but he can't get the call. Man, three and one. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Mike Davis will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Low for ball one. Reagan era fastball that time, mid 80s, but it's called strike one. Swing and a liner. And this is going to be a foul ball. Oops. 
swing shot back up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. And now this is bobbled out in center. The throw to third. And he will make it to third as he's just in ahead of the tag. Two runs in already here in the inning. Now it becomes time to take a deep breath and try and minimize the damage. An extra base hit here could really be disaster. A new pitcher ready to take over now, the Cuban-born right-hander Danny Baez. Danny Valencia will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one will get this one. Now a splitter, and he lays off a ball and a strike. Grounded back to the box. This could be two. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. And we are all tied at three apiece. Henry Morales will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Now the pitch. Good late zip to the fastball there from Marquis, and it's quickly nothing and one. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Yeah, it looked like he was a little early on his release point there. Lays off the fastball low, and it goes to two balls and a strike. Called strike two. Three and two now. Hey now, Kendry, little base hit. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And he will get there as he puts this one away on the run for the first down of the inning. All in all, a reasonably good line to this point. You'll see it there on your screen. Through five and a third, he's allowed the three runs, but it seems like he's pitched pretty well. Diane Viciedo will dig in one for two thus far. In there at the knees, strike one. And this ball will be chopped foul. Try to change your pace with two strikes there, but it misses one and two. And he's got enough in the tank for another inning or two, but he's closing in on 80 pitches now, so that's worth keeping an eye on. Lays off two and two now.
the pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Yonder Alonso waits on deck. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, two gone. Well, he's made it through two-thirds of these three, four, and five hitters. Let's see if he can set them down in order. Yonder Alonso will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it down. And with that, the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning coming up. And we are all tied at three apiece. Gabe Kapler will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Matt, he's living dangerously by working his fastball up in the zone like that. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Sam Fold is on deck. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Sam Fold will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. He's ready now, the pitch, and low, it's a ball and a strike. And that's the pitch, guys, will just beat into the ground. Come on, let's get the ground ball. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. In for strike two. On the stretch. Now a ball lifted in the air to shallow center field. And he can't track it down. A base hit. Runners at the corners here to begin the inning. In a tie ball game, this obviously becomes a golden opportunity to push that go-ahead run across. Number 61 will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. There's the fastball by Baez as he jumps ahead here. No balls and a strike. 
And with the infield at double play depth, it looks like they'll trade a run for two outs. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Swing and a high chopper. And they've got a man caught in the rundown. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Jason Marquis will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. Holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. And the infield's all set to play the bunch. Should this guy get one down? Runner at second here with one man out. Oh, one is a splitter that misses for the first ball. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. A good movement bearing in. It's two balls and two strikes. Now the 2-2 pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, they come right in on him here with two strikes. And you see the pitch on pitch track. That's right on the inside part of the plate. Nice pitch. Russ Mitchell will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. And a curveball in for a strike. Good confidence to drop one on him on the first pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Fouled straight back. From the belt, the pitch. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Don't think he had a feel for his release point there. Two out here and a runner at second. Here's the two and two offering. In the dirt, might not be enough to try it. Well, they got away with one there. I don't understand at all why there was no advance there. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Yeah, Matt, he made him throw a lot of pitches. That was a great at bat. Ian Kinsler will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And you always want to get that first pitch strike in there when you've got to face a dangerous hitter like this. In the dirt, and now let's see. 
And I'm very surprised, Matt, that they decided to stay where they were. You've got to be bouncing out there. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And he gets under this one and, in fact, breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Miranda is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So one run on one hit, no errors, and two left. We've reached the seventh inning stretch here in San Francisco. Dodgers lead this one 4-3. to three. Unieski Betancourt is step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Ball one. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. One one pitch is a circle change. It hits the target one and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Brian Pena will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Too low, 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the 1-0. And that's too high, ball two. And in a close ball game, I think you let him throw you one here. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Kind of hurried the throw here when he didn't need to, but the first baseman saves the air. That was a nice play. Juan Miranda will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Boy, and in a one-run game, you don't want to be leaving that pitch there. Now the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Out in front as he yanks this down the line at first. Foul. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. And even he's smart enough not to chase that thing. Now a ball rolled foul toward first as he stays alive. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Yeah. 
And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. The pitcher's spot would hit next. And looked like he jammed him that time a bit as it's hit in the air to center field. In there, a base hit. Well, you see it right there. Pitch is starting to stack up like firewood. Got to figure he's about out of gas here. New pitcher about ready to take over now. It's the side-arming right-hander Scott Feldman. John Baker will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Here's the first pitch to him. Lined up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, a lot of times as a pinch hitter, you'd like to take a pitch or two just to get the feel for things. But he's a first pitch swinger there, and he comes through. Alexi Ramirez will step in. A ground out victim his last time. Right-hander against right-hander, as this is a ball 1-0. and oh. And this thing starts out a strike. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Hits are even at 7 apiece. hit the target but this is low two and one and at least he's keeping that thing low he won't get hurt down there the two one can't find his own there and it's three and one And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Well, Matt, things are just going from bad to worse here this half inning. Yunel Escobar will dig in now, needing to come through here with the bases loaded and two men out. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0-1. down the middle for strike two. Oh, and this would be a huge strikeout if he could get it and get his club out of here. Come set, now the pitch. And he strikes him out, so a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and three left. Eighth inning coming up. LA's on top, four to three. Jose Contreras will be the new pitcher. Ryan Braun will step in, one for two in the ball game.
outside with the fastball that's 1-0. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he is in there with a double. Well, they summon the righty out of the bullpen to get a favorable matchup, but this time it backfires on him. Ike Davis will get another crack, one for three thus far. toward the alley in left center and that is down as that could be two bases and the runner will score from second well and this is a good time to get some insurance runs Matt this game's certainly not in the win column yet but he buys him a little more breathing room here Danny Valencia will get another shot he hit into a double play his last time Low with the splitter, ball one. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Think he gave up on that one a little too early? A runner at second, nobody out. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And he lays off again. Ball three. And we'll see if this pitcher can rally back here. Three one on the way. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And he stays alive as this is grounded foul. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance. Gabe Kapler will dig in with a very important insurance run 90 feet away at third. And he starts him out with... Well, it looked like a strike, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. Oh. Hit hard back up the middle. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Sam Fold will dig in. He singled his last time around. Contreras ready, the pitch. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Throw gets him, two down. Don't know if it was called a hit and run or a straight steal, but whatever the case, they're lucky he was in motion or it might have been a double play. Number 61 will step in, 0 for 3 but with an RBI. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. He got away with that pitch, Matt, but his veteran know-how was nowhere to be seen there. Now 
down the line, but this is a foul ball. Pause, now the pitch. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Dodgers lead it 6-3. to three. Henry Morales will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Always good for the pitchers to establish a count in their favor when they're dealing with guys like this. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Grounded foul. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. And he'll try to lock him up with that down and in to keep him from getting extended. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. And at this point in the contest, all you're looking for is base runners, so now they look like they could be in business here. Diane Viciedo will stride in, rounded out his last time through. Now a soft liner to the right side. Foul. One and one. There's ball two now. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. Nobody out, runner on first. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air to straightaway right. Number 29 is there to put it away for route number one. Yonder Alonso will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And this is low, ball one. Boy, they could really use a double play ball here. But a strikeout wouldn't be too bad either. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Cut fastball, and he's got to lean out of the way of that one. Two O is a fastball, not close. He's behind three and O now. Taking all the way, it's three and one now. Thought it was ball four, but it's in there, three and two. And with one out, we'll see if they want to put that runner in motion here. Runners on first with one down. Now the three and two pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And 
And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Unieski Betancourt will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Kapler has to range back, but he'll make the catch near the line, and there are two men gone. Called to the bullpen here, and coming in is the lefty specialist, John Grabo. Brian Pena will step in, one for two in the ballgame. Swing and a liner, foul and out of play. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. See if they try and stay out there again. Swing and a line drive. Into the slide, and he makes a great basket catch for the third out of the inning. And the move to the pen pays off as he's able to come in and shut the door. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We've played eight full. Dodgers lead this one six to three. Adam Stern will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. And I think hitters can tell early that a fastball down and in is one they can lay off. Comes in with the changeup and it's 2-0. and oh. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Ready with the 2-1. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. And this is the wrong guy to lose your command to. They need to go right after him. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Well, as a relief pitcher, walking the leadoff guy is definitely not part of your job description. He needs to really bear down now. Russ Mitchell will step in, one for two in the ball game. First pitch to him. Ball one. And a high strike there. It's one and one. He's got to drive that fastball the other way. A runner at first with no outs here. And this ball will be chopped foul.
He's ready now. The pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Get a look from above. This is a good two-strike pitch. Off the corner, a little outside, but he got him to swing through it. Ian Kinsler will dig in here. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. That ball is foul. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. It's actually a good thing he didn't make contact there, because that had double play written all over it. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. From the belt, the pitch just does stay alive as this is foul back. inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes and that misses there so he runs the count full now this guy's a pretty good contact hitter so with a three and two count the run and hit could be on here Three two pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Tossed to first by Contreras. Has to dive, but he's back. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Yuneski Maya is on and he'll take over on the mound. Ryan Braun will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. First pitch coming. Lays off 1-0. Looks like he might be getting squeezed a little bit there. And a fastball in there for a strike. 1-1. One and one. Runners are at first and second with one away. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And that misses 2-1. And, and he's going to need to rein that one in a bit because he'll get beat if he keeps leaving pitches up. Off-speed pitch. Good for strike two. Huge strikeout there as he certainly does his job out of the pen. And we'll see how they go after the next guy here. Ike Davis will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around.
checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Comes set, now the pitch. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. We'll see 8, 9, and 1 do up in the bottom of inning number 9. L.A.'s on top, 6-3. to three. Craig Breslow is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Juan Miranda will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Ball one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here it comes. And that misses, and we're even at two and two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Brad Davis will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. First pitch on the way. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 oh now. Gets around on the fastball here as this is hit fairly well out toward left field. Two quick outs, but that's just what you want your closer to do to come in and shut the door. Alexi Ramirez is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Fastball in there for a called strike. Pitching coach will love that location. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. And 
and this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. One-two pitch is a bit high, and he's back to even at two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Yunel Escobar would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Boy, and any time you can go on the road and come away with a victory, you will take it. These guys played with a lot of character this afternoon, and the result... It's going to speak for itself. And a very good performance offensively for this bunch. But out of everyone, I think we should single out this fellow right here as our top player of the game. Matty only had one hit in the game, but was it ever big? That home run 